Google has recently released a new image model, Nano Banana, which I'm sure that's not going to be the name that it's going to end up with. Up until this moment, if you created your own avatar for social media or pretty much anything, whether it's for business or even to create stories, every single render that you generate, every image render is going to look slightly different. You couldn't get consistency but with this new model you can create different shots from the one original image and it's going to keep character consistency location consistency and the overall look is incredible let me show you because this in my opinion is a game changer so you go to lmarena.ai you want to come here and you want to type generate image and direct chat and automatically it's going to change to Gemini 2.5 flash nano banana code name. You upload an image and I just type same shot but from behind. And look what I got. Perfect image, consistency, the same look, the same color, the same hair, the same clothing. Everything is the same. I then again uploaded the same image because you always have to start from an original image. And then I prompted an overhead shot of the camera looking 90 degrees down and bam, this is what I got. I can use this as an overhead shot. The next shot I asked this, again, uploaded my original image, ultra wide shot, and I got an ultra wide shot. I wanted a slightly different look. Again, I uploaded my original image and bam, another shot. Character consistency, the look, the overall location, everything is the same. I then wanted a low angle shot, prompted again, low angle shot from behind. There you go. This is what I got. And this is what's so amazing about this, because this now opens up the possibilities that you can create sequences. So rather than just having one shot of 10 seconds and then having to reprompt and spend a lot of credits to get to an image that is never quite going to look the same, you can just create your sequence here and then animate it. One photo. Darling, I don't do just one photo. If you're going to capture me in Paris, you capture me from every angle. Finally, an AI that understands my best side, which, let's be honest, is all of them. Vogue should be worried. Nano Banana just became my new photographer. One major thing to point out after a lot of testing. Character consistency? Yes, but to a point. If you change faces to someone famous, you will get their face perfectly because Nano Banana has a lot of images to refer to online. If you have your own AI avatar with just a few images, the face will look kind of the same, but not quite. I think the model is still not there, regardless of what people will tell you. The model does not give you 100% character consistency. Think more along the lines of 85% which for some people will be fine. For some shots, it definitely is totally fine. But for many people and for many shots, it is not good enough. But as a first generation model, as a whole, is very good. I have an AI avatar course where I literally go step by step on everything that you need to do to create your own digital AI avatars that can talk and move like real people. If this is something that you're interested, that you can see yourself using in your workflow for content that you use or for business, I'll leave a link in the video description. It will take you to a page where you can register your interest or buy the pre-sell, which is heavily discounted and at a rate that you are not gonna find when the course is launched in a few weeks. And I literally walk you through step-by-step step in that course using different platforms so that you don't even need to do any thinking. It's all done for you. Let's just do something real life, okay? So for this, we're gonna choose an image. For instance, this gentleman is an image that I created on Mid Journey, and I'm just gonna prompt it uh, super ultra wide shot and then render. And hopefully this is now going to give us <laughs> exactly what we want. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> An ultra wide shot that looks exactly the same 
the same plane, the same clothing, the same bag, the same character. This looks like this guy. Okay, now we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna bring this image up again, the same image. And we're gonna now say the profile short left side of the man. I don't know if he's gonna understand my instructions. Hopefully they're clear enough. I just want a profile shot from the left side of the person or the man. Whoa, you see, uh, I, I guess you could technically use this because the, the man has walked down and now he's turning, but we're gonna redo this again and see if we can get a better result. But look at the character consistency, the colors wide profile shot and i'm just not gonna say anything else just like that okay let's see wide profile shot from the left side of the man and this is what you need to do if there is a person you need to say the man or you need to describe it slightly you don't need to be super super accurate and the same goes if it's a woman and okay uh this is a profile shot a profile shot from the left side of the plane, okay? We want the shot as it is, but from the side. And maybe it's getting confused because I'm asking it to do a, a profile shot of the man, and it's giving me a profile shot of the man, but how about a profile shot of the plane? Uh, okay, and we can refine this. That's an amazing profile shot of the actual plane. You know, wow. Okay, so we're gonna say, where we can see the man walking away from it. Let's see if this works. But you can clearly see how if you spend five or 10 minutes, you can build your storyboard, so to speak, and create an amazing sequence. Okay, this is something that we could probably use, you know? I mean, we could probably use this. Let's just do mid shot. You know, sometimes I wonder, <laughs> artificial intelligence how much of an intelligence that is i mean yes i know that analytic thinking and deep thinking is is is, is there but creative thinking sometimes you know you have to ask yourself i mean that's a really beautiful shot as it is but not the shot that we want and let me show you how you put all of this together and create amazing sequences whether it is for corporate video, for social media content, and pretty much anything you can think of. Well, this is a surprise. Where is everyone? Am I even in the right airport? There should be someone to meet me here. No, I'm definitely at the right airport. Hello? Anyone out there? Anyone? <sighs> Let me go and ask the pilot. He should know. Was that someone out there? Hello? Hello? Did the prompting get it so wrong that left me stranded at an abandoned airport? Hello, anyone? The fact that you can now have whatever image that you've created of your character, of your client, of yourself. I mean, think about this. You shoot a sequence for a client and then suddenly you realize that you missed a shot, an angle. Well, you can now create an angle using Nano Banana and then animate it, lip sync it and job done. We can see that the possibilities of this are insane. And the best of it is that it's totally free at the moment. And if you like this video, if you find it helpful, give the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next video.